Hello, it's Phil here. Um, we're going to be looking at the Siamese method for filling in a 7x7 magic square. So what is a magic square? To fill in this 7x7 magic square, to make it magic, you need to put in the digits 1 to 49 into the 49 squares, such that each row and each column and each diagonal add up to the, exactly the same number. So this method uh, gives you a quick way of doing that. So to start the method, you need to put in the first digit in the middle of the first row. So we're going to put one in the middle of the first row. Now looking at the algorithm here, you can see that what we the first move is we look diagonally. So I next want to put the 2 in this square here, but this, this square doesn't exist. So going down through our algorithm, if it doesn't exist, we rotate round and we put the 2 in this square that has been wrapped around here instead. And then continuing the algorithm, on the next number, the number 3, we need to go diagonally to the top right. So we're going to put a 3 in here, and then we do the same again for the 4. Now the 5 wants to go there, but again we need to wrap around the sides. So we're looking at this part of the algorithm here, where we wrap around the sides, and we put the 5 into the square that has been wrapped around. The number 6 then goes on the top diagonal, followed by 7. Now the 8 wants to go in this square here, but we see we've already got a number in that square. So this is the last part of the algorithm. If you cannot fit it in, you write the 8, the, that number, below the previous number. So the 8 goes below the 7, which was the previous number. Then we go for the top diagonal, 9, 10, 11 wants to go here, so we wrap it down to this square here, and 12's on the diagonal, 13 wants to go here, so we wrap it around to this square, and we continue on. So 14's on the top diagonal, the next top diagonal is blocked, so 15 goes below the 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, that top square there is off the grid so we wrap it round to this bottom square here. 21 wants to go here which we wrap around to the side here and 22 wants to go here but that number that square is taken so we go to the one below so that's 22 and then we've got a good run here 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 29 wants to go here. That's not possible, so we take the square below the previous one, so 29 ends up here. 30 wants to go here, so we wrap that around the sides. And the 31 goes to wrap around the bottom. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. That top one's taken. So we come down to 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. The next diagonal is taken, so we come below the 42. 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48 and 49. And there we have it, a 7x7 seven seven magic square. So let's just check the rows and columns and the diagonals add up to the same number. This row here adds up to 175 and you can check that the other rows also add up to 175. If you look at the columns here, they add up to 175 as well. So you can check for the other columns here. And this diagonal here also adds up to 175. And the diagonal here also adds to 175. So there you have it, a 7x7 seven seven magic square. 
So the next challenge is uh, have a go at this with a, another size grid. Now what you need to realize is or know is that the Siamese method will only work with odd size grids. So you might want to try it with a 9 by 9 grid or go back to a 5 by 5 grid or even a 3 by 3 grid. So I recommend you have a go at that to make sure you understand how the method works. Uh, my name is Phil and if you're looking for an online mathematics tutor you can find me at 360maths.co.uk. Okay, goodbye.